This video will cover how to export extra attributes from Maya to Katana. It'll also give an example of how you could potentially use them in Katana afterwards. So this is useful if you want to export attributes describing parts of an asset in a particular way. You may want to export attributes from other applications to transfer additional metadata associated with the geometry. So I've divided this video into three parts. The first is creating an attribute in Maya. The second is exporting an attribute into Alembic. And the third is accessing and using these attributes in Katana. In this example, I'm describing the material that will be assigned to that part of the geometry. You can see as I select the different parts of the car that each part has been tagged with an extra attribute here on the right. So I'll show you how to add an extra attribute. So you can either go into the channel box in edit, add attributes. And this would be the same thing then if you were in the attribute editor and go into attributes, add attributes. So I'll go ahead and name the attribute variant. So this is what I've been calling the other attribute. So keeping things consistent is always good. And then you can also add a nice name, but I won't bother with that. It's just the name that you'll see in the Maya interface. So you can either make it keyable, displayable or hidden. I'll keep mine keyable. And this attribute is a string since it's not a numeric value or like a float or integer. And it isn't true or false like a Boolean. So I'll keep this box ticked. Finally, create this attribute by clicking on apply and close. And we now have the attribute available. And for some reason, it'll automatically set the first character of the na nice name to a capital letter. Um, but the true value of this attribute is what I had set originally. So the variant value is going to be called glass01 uh, for this particular mesh. And once we've set all our variants, uh, the next step is to export the geometry. And I'll be exporting as an Alembic, but bear in mind that Katana does support USD as well. So once you're ready to export and you're happy with all of these tags, then you can go into cache, Alembic cache, export all to Alembic. And then in the options on the right, I'll set this option to current frame since this car isn't animated. And then the crucial part is to specify which attributes I'd like to include in the Alembic file. So type in um, variant and add. And then finally export the Alembic uh, wherever your project is set. So now in Katana, if we create an Alembic in and bring in the path for the car asset, you can find and then use the attribute created in Maya. So any information associated with an asset, if it exists in the Alembic file, the information will be available in the attributes tab. Custom attributes will be displayed under geometry arbitrary. And under this point, you can find the variance created in Maya along with its value, which is glass 01. So as an example, I'm opening this project that uses these arbitrary attributes in Katana. So what I've done here is created collections to call these attributes and then assigning the materials based on that collection. So I'll create a new collection to show you how you can call this attribute and then reuse the selection as many times as you want. So let's call the collection car paint and then add a custom cell statement. And once we get to that level in the hierarchy, we'll select the geometry based on its attributes. So I'll use this part to showcase the GeoPicker features in the monitor tab, where you can select geometry based on a rendered image. So that's by activating it, selecting part of the rendered image by control left click, then click on the arrow and select in scene graph. With that selected, you can now go into the attributes and find the value of the attributes we want to use. So once we search for everything underneath this point um, in the scene graph, we want to find the attributes at geometry, arbitrary, variant, value that is equal to car paint. And I forgot to put in quotation marks. Now, if we find and select results, then it's going to find all the geometry that has been tagged with the value car paint. So scrolling in the scene graph, you can see all the selections that are being picked up. You can see at the top that it's created a collection. So later on, you can then use this when assigning materials. So if we go in the other branch, we can see uh, we can find the material sign for the car paint material. And you can see that it contains the collection and 
the parts of geometry that are assigned to this material. So in this case, we're using custom attributes to streamline the process of assigning materials, uh, but others might use attributes to describe a variation of the asset, um, light linking, and for example, if you have 20 different cars all tagged in the same way, they can be fed, uh, they can be fed into the same node graph in Katana and behave the exact same way. So the possibilities are endless. But to recap a little bit, we've gone through how to export an attribute from another software, such as Maya in this example, to then access and use that information within Katana. Thanks for listening. Thank you.